look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stick Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva And in today's video We are going to be touring This huge, huge five bedroom Three bath Scott built legend now it's kind of in here sideways okay so i'm not really able to give you a full-on view of the home but let's see if we can see what the back looks like all right so this is the back of the home I actually can see the back a little better than the front. So this is the exterior of the home. Again, I'm out here at St. Clara County in Byron, Georgia. I've been out here a couple of times, you guys. And I check back from time to time because it's not that far from my house to see what they have new. So again, this is a Scott built home. It's called, it's one of the Legend series. If I can find the decor pics online, I will absolutely put them in this video. If not, I will have all of the information. Also, stay tuned to the end for the price, okay? so that's the door that we came in right there excuse the echo and you have all of this is your living room area in the living room you have the recessed ceiling I'll walk up so you can really see it's textured and it's two-toned so you have like a, a white and then like a cool green on the inside that also matches the walls and I love that, I love this color. I don't know if, that's the screen door, sorry. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but I love the color. And all of that to the split is your dining room. So really lovely. Now, I'm gonna walk into the dining room and let you see how it opens up to the kitchen walk through the living room and let you see how it opens up to the kitchen and the dining room. So right here is your dining room. You've got this rustic chandelier over your table, massive amount of space for, that is going to make me hurt myself. Let me shut the door. <laughs> Let's shut the door, you guys. Okay. I'll leave that open for light. You got this massive amount of space for your dining room table. You've got this rustic chandelier. Now it might not be everyone's taste, so you don't have to order it with that. But you do have this chandelier in here. And then you've got that sliding glass door that'll lead out into your deck. This cool green goes throughout the house. This is what the kitchen looks like. You also have the rustic pendant light over this massive island. Look at there, I love the overhang. So you could probably put three, four bar stools on that um, island easily. This island is massive. And you know, a lot of times when you have a huge island like this, they'll stick a sink in it, but not this time. I'll show you the unique feature of this island. So. In this island, you've got cabinet and drawer space here. You've, it's uh, open on this side. And then you have a cabinet over here. And you can actually stand in here and you can be doing work on either side of you. See that? All the way around. Look at there. Love it. I'll stand back again so you can really see it.
See it? Okay, awesome. Now let's spin around and take a look over here. You've got your cabinets, upper and lower, uh, drawer space over the lower cabinets. You got a built-in microwave over your ceramic top stove. And I love these two windows over your sink area. And this one comes with the side-by-side -side refrigerator. So that is your kitchen, you guys. All right, and then off the kitchen is your laundry room. So your back door is here, and then your washer and dryer goes there. You have shelving above it. You have space for a deep freezer next to your washer and dryer. And then you have this pantry space around this corner. So you have a lot of space in this laundry room. All of that is space. Now that door is where your AC unit is, but you have pantry space over here if you want to put some extra uh, storage space over there. You can use that as well, do that as well. And you also have space for a deep freezer next to your, right there. I'm gonna get y'all back even. Space for a deep freezer next to your washer and dryer. So really nice, lovely. All right, through the dining room, you have these barn doors. Everybody doesn't like them. You could have these without having the barn door look. You can just put plain doors there. You can, not, you can order this house without that and put French doors or no door at all. That's really your choice. Don't let the rustic features be something that sways you if you like the bones of this house. You've got your bonus room over here. It comes with space for a huge TV as well as a fireplace. I want to say this is an electric fireplace. I was reading it. It comes with multicolor flame, uh, 50,000 hours of LED light. It has a remote control and a sleep timer. Really nice. Love it. Love, 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 love. One, one of the things that I would have liked to have in our house is a fireplace. So really nice. This room has a ceiling fan. Lovely. Off this bonus room, you guys, you got a Jack and Jill bedroom, Jack and Jill bedroom over here. Uh, two bedrooms with Jack and Jill bath over here. You've got guest bedroom number one is to the right. This is guest bedroom number one. It comes with a standard closet. There's your closet for guest bedroom number one. Come over here so you can see. So all of that is guest bedroom. It connects to this Jack and Jill bath. This bath has a sink and lots of counter space. And you have a toilet with storage above and you have your tub and shower combo. Really nice. And then if you go out of the room through this little hallway, then this is the other bedroom, guest bedroom number two, identical size room. Also has a standard closet. Okay. And this is the other side that connects to the same bath. All right. And you do have maybe a makeup area here that you could put a stool at and you have one cabinet. I will put a shelf in there and assign each person their own area unless they know how to share. <laughs> All right, so that's guest bedroom number two. And again, this is your Jack and Jill guest bedrooms. So in this little hallway, right off the family room, you've got two bedrooms and a bathroom. Now, let me apologize in advance because down this hall is really dark and they don't have lights. 
guest bedroom number three, you guys. So this is guest bedroom number three. It has a walk-in closet. Kind of, sort of. You can walk in there. You might be able to bring that shelving around this way, make the most use of space. And then this is another view of the bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number three. It's down a separate hallway. All right, guest bedroom number three. And then down here to the right is guest bedroom number four. It has a transom window. And you know what? This isn't a guest bedroom, you guys. You know why? It doesn't have a closet. So this is an office space. So it has a transom window in here which is really nice. It doesn't have carpet like the bedrooms and no closet. So you've got an office. So this is a four bedroom, three bath with a bonus room and an office. Really lovely. I love it. So you don't have to sacrifice a bedroom to have an office. Very nice. And then I know you can't see in here, this is the third guest, this is the second guest bath. It has a tub and shower combo over there, toilet and um, storage, and then your sink right there. If there are decor picks, I'll probably put them on top of this portion so you can really see what we're looking at. So very nice, four bedrooms, three baths, three full baths, really lovely. Back through the guest bed, uh, back through the bonus room, I'll turn around and give you one more look. All right. And then we'll go through the kitchen and living room into the master. So here's your master. So you got your master right here. All right, all of this is master. I'll come on this side and let you get another look. I love that you can put a king size in between those two windows, really lovely. This is another view of the master. It also has a ceiling fan in here. And then this is your master bath. It has two sinks cabinet and drawer space in the two sinks. You got your toilet there with a window above it that actually opens. Can you see that? This window opens. You've got your soaker tub right there, cat corner. Huge mirror. You don't have to get a full length mirror because you can see exactly what you're wearing in this huge mirror over the tub. You got this huge shower here with the rain shower shower head and it doesn't open. You step in here, it's a step up. So you step into the shower here and you have all of that. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Come back over here and let you see again and then right here across from the sinks uh, is the master closet really nice space lovely 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 okay let's go see the price you guys again this is a scott built home this is the legend four bedroom, three bath that it says a living room and a den, but this one also comes with an office, 132.15. So $132,150, really nice. Vents in the ceiling, finished drywall throughout, nice features. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Any information I have about how to contact this dealer with ship will be down in the description box below. Also, any decor pics will be at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason we stay, stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are uh -huh.